um, I'm going to do a second taste in this part two because um, in the first taste I couldn't really taste anything. It's been a day later. I was high as hell at the time, by the way. I don't know if you noticed, but um, we're going to go for a second taste in this review because um, I didn't take it too seriously at the time. Um, so we're going to really, really try and get get the most out of this part in part two. Um, I didn't really want to delete part one because I did I did talk about it a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's crack into the review. Okay, so we're going to start off with some history, which is quite good because I like history and it's quite nice to know a little bit more about the product you got you buy. So, Teachers Highland Cream is a brand of blended Scotch whiskey produced in Glasgow by Beam Suntory, the American Society of Suntory Holdings of Osaka, Japan. Teachers Highland Cream blend was registered in 1884. Um, so I don't know where I don't know why it says since eighteen thirty if it's been if it's been hang on eighteen eighty four okay um maybe that's a different type of thing but anyway teachers uses over forty five percent single malt with Ardmore single malt being the main scotch in it in its blend. To make Teachers Highland Cream blended scotch, it also uses over 30, 30 different single malt whiskies. In 1830, which it says right here on the bottle, William Teacher took advantage of the new Excise Act and began selling his whisky from 1832. He was selling it from his wife's grocery shop in Glasgow. By 1856, with help from his sons, he was granted a license. Oh shit, sorry about that. He was granted a license for consumption and opened his own dram shop. William died in 1873, leaving his two sons, William Jr. and Adam, in charge. Uh, sorry about that, my stand won't stand up. There we go. Leaving them in charge, um, they moved the business to St. Enoch Square, which is where it remained until 1991. Teachers opened their Ardmore single fault facility in 1898, ensuring a guaranteed supply of scotch for their Teachers Highland Cream blend. With the end of Prohibition in the United States, Teachers sent his first shipment on the Conard steamer Cynthia. Teachers acquired the Glen Donarch distillery in 1957 to meet the growing demand of for blend scotch. With this increase in demand, Teachers built a modern blending and bottling plant in Glasgow. In 1962 and 1976, William Teacher and Sons LTD joined Align Distillers. So it's quite quite a big history there. I'm sorry about the the camera I fell down halfway through, but that's quite a, quite a, a strong history. Um, and I didn't really realise this. A lot of people just say, "Oh yes, it's a cheap whiskey, you know, modern whiskey, you know, cheap nasty whiskey." But it's not. It seems to have a, a high, big history to it. Um, they do, they do the Teachers Highland Cream Whiskey, and they also do normal Teachers. I had to rename the uh, part one because this is the Cream Whiskey. Uh, there's a, another one that's slightly cheap. This is it's a different type of whiskey that they do, and it's cheaper. So apparently, this is the better version. So, yeah, let's let's um, let's give us another test, taste test. The bottle is actually quite nice, like I said in part one. Um, let's do a little taste taste test. Got a little plastic cup here. You can like you. We really can smell the malt in this. It doesn't like when you when you compare this to Jack Daniel's. It's it, the Jack Daniel's smell purely takes smells of um, purely smells of whiskey. This has a very maltish kind of smell to it, similar to like beers and things that have malt in it. It's quite relaxed. Um, apparently, they add colourings to this to uh, brighten the colour up. That's kind of strange. It's a fairly weak tasting alcohol, to be honest. For a forty percent alcohol alcohol um, percentage, it's quite um, a very weak tasting. Um, like it's not potent, like it like a danger sometimes is. Very smooth going down. It hits your chest. You can you can feel it in your chest. Um, it's a very sweet kind of saccharine kind of aftertaste. Very lightly. Um, very like a, like a um, peppery kind of 
um, spiciness to it. Not like a spicy, like a chilli, like a peppery kind of spice. Um, and it goes down like that very nicely. Um, the malt um, is very overbearing, um, the malt taste to it in the blend. You can really taste that over the normal not the normal usually whiskey kind of taste to it. So um I'd recommend this. It's quite a nice smooth drink to go with it. Um with if you have Pepsi or Coke it, it actually goes in it quite well. Um but you can mostly taste the malt with the with the Coke or with the Pepsi. So um if you want a quite this is very cheap at the shop to be honest. This was I can't even remember now. But um if you want a cheaper whiskey and you don't want it you know you still want quality I'd recommend trying this. I don't really like the name Teachers. It kind of reminds me of a teacher that's addicted to, you know, it's alcoholic basically. 